Hey, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Resurrection Season 2. Yes, folks, Season 2 is now with us. We've been through all the, the campaigns the, for the DLC for Season 1, and Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Resurrection marks the first DLC for Season 2, the fifth DLC in the Deadlock series. Now, what I'm going to do now is going to go through one of the most difficult parts of the campaign I've found so far, which is Mission 3, entitled Phallus. You have to get Doc Cottle and his team of medical people all the way down to the surface to solve some outbreak where the Cylons are destroying the air. But the Cylons won't let you. Let's take a look. Fleet group is jumping in three, two, one. Jump complete. No hostiles present in Dreda's range. Damn, I was positive the toasters were behind this. We've done this before, Commander. I'm not here to hold your hand. I need those response ships to break sky in 15 minutes before people start dying. What's the hurry? Palace Core Control says we've still got 20 hours before the domes are compromised. For total habitat failure, sure. Except those domes are springing leaks every minute, and I can guarantee you the Palladians do not have a pressure suit for every civvy down there. You ever suffer from hypoxia, kid? I don't think you're that much older than me. Low oxygen starts with nausea, or a bit of numbness. Maybe your arm starts to spasm, or you get a cluster migraine, start seeing colors. Breathing speeds up, body pressure starts to rise. A problem when your environment pressure is dropping. The suit shortage down there ends with people's sweat literally boiling off their skin. There are children and elderly looking at a very painful, unmerciful death. So how about we ignore your thermostat and get on with saving those people? So there you have it, our most favourite grumpy old grizzly doctor of Battlestar Galactica, Lieutenant Cottle, has filled us all in on what this sort of catastrophic event is going to cause the human body. It doesn't mince any words, does he really? So, we've got our medical ships right there in the right hand side and I've got a Minotaur protecting them. I'm going to move the Artemis type Battlestar over to the left to provide flak and missile support. I'm then going to move my two Jupiter class base stars towards the marker point with the Galactica on the inside closest to the station and the other Jupiter 2 class Battlestar um, on, its, on its right provide support and missile protection. Not going to launch any Vipers just yet. Let's get as close to there as we possibly can. Also, we're going to move those medical ships just so that they've got protection from that Minotaur and the big guns of the Minotaur. The Conquisitor. The Conquisitor. Whatever that means. Anyway, that's a good name for a Minotaur. I think so. Right, so we're moving the Jupiters towards that one particular marker. Now, I had two or three attempts at this, um, and to get it right, you've got to ensure, obviously, that Galactica doesn't get destroyed, because it's called Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Launching you don't want to lose Battlestar Galactica, do you? Right, so, here we go. We're launching our alert vipers on both sides, and we're going to get them moved off to a safe area. So, those alert vipers from the Artemis are being launched not doing anything with our Jupiter class yet. Here we go. Right, here we are. Get into the marker. All squadrons are in the air. Yep, and the Cylons have jumped in. Dreadus contact. Multiple Cylon ships. Looks like your bet was right, Mr. Singh. Round in the support ships. They aren't risking atmospheric entry while we have focus. So they've said they're going to move the um, medical corps transports in nice and close 
What also is going to happen now is that we are going to have to move our ships out of the way, move our fighters out of the way, because those Cylon marks at the top are going to start launching missiles. And of course, we've got two Cylons to the right. So we're factually, we're being flanked left and right. You know, I mean, look what's happening here. So let's move the Galactica over. Like and subscribe if you've already done so. Uh, hit that notification bell. If you'd like to see more Battlestar Galactica Deadlock videos, check out the Discord and leave me a comment. But a nice comment, because we're all friends here. And at the end of the day, it's YouTube. It's not really life, is it? So, we're going to start laying down some flak as soon as all those fighters uh, are out of the way. As soon as those Cylons start to um, reveal themselves from Dreadus, let's see what our tactics are going to be. Okay, yes, so we're going to start firing at those areas. We're going to move our ships out as well. Excellent. Good stuff. Let's end that turn and see what we've got to do. Lots of colonial big ships in the way between the Cylons and they're launching missiles as we thought they would do. Galactica taking some hits there in the front. Our planes are in the air. I'm going to get flak now on our other Jupiter to the left hand side because I've got no squadrons or, or friendly ships by there. Let's just launch some flak. We've taken a bit of a hit of damage on Galactica Mine, but nothing, nothing to yet. The, the armor plating is holding up. There goes the flak from the two Jupiters. Two missiles in from a Nemesis on the left hand side towards the Artemis. And we're going to move our Minotaur in to start intercepting that Cylon on the right hand side. Flak making short work of all the missiles that have been launched. Great stuff so far. Okay. I'm happy with that. Let's go. So, so far from the campaign missions, it's been the most tricky one. And always protecting the transport ones are really tricky. So we're going to get some raptors and some squadrons in here to attack that ship there. We're also going to get the big guns from the Minotaur to attack it as well. Uh, I'm going to leave our Jupiters over there, over on the top of the screen, um, defending against those other three Cylon marks. That one Artemis is going to take out that Cylon nemesis. Sneaky little sods they are, they have to be. Uh, we're going to lay down some missile fire against that and then open up with the big guns as well. With the fighter screen from that Artemis taking out that ship and the other nemesis to the centre of the screen. Quick adjustment now of the medical core ships with Doc Cottle on them. And, then play. and a base star has been revealed. Galactica taking more missile hits to the front now. I'm going to change the orientation of the Galactica around to one of its sides and protect the front, which an awful lot of the armor plating has gone. The flak still making short work of all the missile salvos that are coming in from the top and those three Cylon marks. Still beating down that smaller Cylon ship. Gonna fire some rockets from the ra uh, Raptors at the Arachne. The Arachne, they're tough ships, they're tough Cylon ships. They are, I mean, they've got missiles, they've got squadrons. Pretty much their answer to the Artemis attack Battlestar, really. Again, here we go. End turn. Taking those missiles out, wearing down the Arachne, the Galactica firing its missiles at the base star. The Arachne is nearly gone. We're going to swing the Galactica around so its left side is towards the battle star, the base star. Can't fire any missiles off it yet. Going to pay attention over to the left hand side as well with our Artemis. Make sure our turrets are completely focused on that one nemesis. All the way. We've got to get down there in 15 minutes or it's too late. And you can see the habitat failure level um, rising. It's increased at the moment to 24%. So the armory on the Galactica is taking a bit of a, a pounding. The Arachne's gone. 
Starting to focus all our fire now against the base star. That's nearly gone. The Minotaur guns made short work of that, along with the missile salvo from Galactica and its big guns. We're going to swing them round now, and we're going to start to engage the three Cylon ships that have yet to reveal themselves on Dreadus towards the top of the screen. So far, we haven't incurred many fighter losses. Some are hits on the, on the Raptor squadron, but nothing too heavy. So the Arachne's down, the base star's down, and our nemesis is down. This one is being elusive. We're going to drop the elevation of the Artemis battle star to such, whereas we can bring some of the good guns to bear on it and take that out. Time to move our big ships now towards... Another Arachne there's revealed itself. There you go, old Doc Cottle saying we've got to get down to the planet surface. Yes, we definitely have, but how are we going to do that? We've got to get through all these Cylons first. More missiles being fired off from the Cylon ships that have yet to reveal themselves. We're going to focus all our turrets on that Arachne. Move the Artemis now, it's taken out the Nemesis. Well, we'll soon take out that nemesis. It won't be a long, around for long. Firing more ordnance off now. Try and take out the ships as we can. I'm not too bothered about hit, get, saving missiles for if there's a base star up there, which I assume there's going to be. Going to fire the guided missiles off. Ensure the turrets are focused. And time to end turn. That nemesis is as good as gone. Time to reorient the Artemis on the left hand side. Bring it back into the main battle. We may well need it. Galacta taking a bit of a pounding. Armour down from 180. Down to about... Ooh. It's taken about a third of quarter off its armor plating. The Arachne has now been taken out. Time to move on to the next ship, a smaller ship. More focusing fire against that Hydra. Nemesis has been destroyed by the Artemis. Medical ship still intact. Let's launch our Raptors again so we can fire rocket support against some of the bigger ships. More missiles coming in. The flak screen doing a good job at taking rid of all the missiles that are coming in. Fighter squadrons taking out the Hydra. That's gone. Time to focus on the remaining yet unrevealed Cylon ship. My bet it's a base star. And if it is, all guns to bear against that ship. Well, it is indeed a base star, everybody. Who'd have thought it? So there you go. Let's get some focus fire on that. Let's get some missiles against it. Let's get all our squadrons heading towards that. And then that should be it then. The mission should end. Cot will be able to get down and uh, heal people or deal with his medical emergency on Phallus. And that will complete... Mission 3 of Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Resurrection Campaign. A very tricky mission, this. Now, this strategy worked for me. It might not work for everyone. People may have a better strategy. Um, you do need to have Galactica at this particular place. Missile tubes prepped. Let's fire some missiles. Let's layer on that base there. 
they start firing missiles in a last ditch effort to try and remain in the battle. Of course that Jupiter 2 has taken a right pounding. Galactica hanging back a little bit. Still able to fire missiles. But I'm confident that Jupiter and that Minotaur can take out that base star. There you go. Base star destroyed. End of mission three. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching this. We're going to show the FMV. This is the most indirect attack vector the Cylons have tried yet. Probably time to start your people in crisis training. Gut feeling says this isn't going to be the last one you'll have to attend. I hope you're wrong, Doctor. Battlestar armor is redundant if they use our air to kill us instead of their bullets. Little bit of dialogue from Silas and Cottle. I'm going to leave with the FMV now. Thanks for watching. Thank you.